He is known for being a 19th century French writer. Recognized for his acute analysis of character psychology, he is highly regarded as one of the early practitioners of realism in literature. His name is Marie-Henri Bale, better known as Stendhal. In the realm of 19th century French literature, one name stands out, Stendhal, whose real name was Marie-Henri Bale. Stendhal was a writer known for his acute analysis of his character's psychology and is considered one of the pioneers of realism. His most famous works, Le Rouge et le Noir and La Chartreuse de Parme, have left a lasting impact on the literary world. Stendhal's novels are renowned for their examination of human nature and the complexities of the human mind. Through his characters, he delves deep into the intricacies of their thoughts, emotions, and motivations. This exploration of the human psyche earned him a reputation as a master of psychological realism. One of Stendhal's remarkable contributions to literature is his concept of Baalism. This term, coined by Stendhal himself, refers to a self-proclaimed egotism that he infused into his characters. Through Baalism, Stendhal explored the inner workings of his characters' minds, revealing their desires, ambitions, and insecurities. This innovative approach to character development revolutionized the field of literature, inspiring future writers to delve into the depths of their character's psyche. Stendhal's legacy as a pioneer of realism and a master of psychological analysis continues to resonate in the world of literature. His works not only entertain but also provide profound insights into human nature. Stendhal's ability to capture the complexities of the human mind serves as a reminder of the power of literature to explore the depths of the human experience. In the world of literature, Stendhal was a writer ahead of his time. Living during the Romantic period, his realistic style was not fully appreciated by contemporary readers. However, it wasn't until the beginning of the 20th century that his genius began to be truly recognized. Stendhal dedicated his writing to what he called the happy few, a phrase that held multiple meanings and references. One interpretation of the happy few can be traced back to Lord Byron's Don Juan and William Shakespeare's Henry V. However, Stendhal's use of the phrase likely referred to the Vicar of Wakefield by Oliver Goldsmith. He had memorized parts of the novel while teaching himself English, and in it, the happy few ironically referred to those who read an obscure treatise on monogamy by the title character. As a literary critic, Stendhal championed the romantic aesthetic and often compared the rigid rules of Jean Racine's classicism unfavorably to the freer verse and settings of Shakespeare. He even supported the writing of plays and prose, emphasizing the importance of artistic freedom and expression. In his novel The Red and the Black, Stendhal used the metaphor of a mirror carried in a basket to describe a novel. He understood that a realistic work of art, like a mirror, does not reflect reality in its entirety. Instead, the artist must carefully select and depict certain aspects of reality to achieve the cognitive function of the work. Stendhal's admiration for Napoleon also influenced his writing, with his novel Le Rouge et le Noir considered a literary tribute to the emperor. Today, Stendhal's works are celebrated for their irony, psychological depth, and historical dimensions. His writings showcase his love for music, particularly the works of composers like Domenico Cimarosa, Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart, and Gioacchino Rossini. Stendhal even wrote a biography of Rossini, Vida Rossini, which is now valued for its musical criticism rather than its historical content. Additionally, he idealized aristocracy, recognizing its anti-egalitarianism while appreciating its love for liberty. In his works, Stendhal incorporated excerpts from various sources, including Giuseppe Carpani, Theophile Frederick Winkler, and Sismondi, showcasing his wide-ranging knowledge and influences. Do you want to explore more novelists? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.